well, what do you know? A video that's now being recorded in my bathroom. Today I wanted to talk about uh, something that I do, or that I used to do before all this craziness started, and that was I was a balloon twister. So I have some balloons here. I'm going to show you some very basic balloons that I made. These were good for when you had like a long line of kids and not a lot of time or your events planner, you know, booked you for two hours, but they didn't tell you that there was 200 kids there. So a lot of balloon twisters make these very elaborate balloons. They spend a lot of balloons and a lot of time making these epic creations that look fantastic. Unfortunately for me, that wasn't going to work with the kind of events I was getting booked for. Because before you know it, there was that lady all the way in the back with the nine grandkids with her and she wanted a balloon for each of them and she also wanted three for the kids that couldn't make it to the event. So she would start loudly complaining that I was taking too long and before you know it, the event coordinator or the person that booked me would come wandering over and say, why are you taking so long? You need to hurry it up. We have a long line. You need to get through all these kids. So what I started to do was I looked through the balloon, I hate to say repertoire, but uh, you know the list of kinds of balloons that I made and I started to weed out the ones that used a lot of my resources and also took a lot of time and I started to really pare them down and I came up with a simple list of about 20 balloons that I took pictures of them I had my son model them and I handed kids the book and I said, this is what I'm making today. You need to pick something out of here. And they were balloons that I could make quickly, but they were still big enough to give you that nice visual element so that when the kids were walking around with it, other kids would see it and go, oh, I want that. That's what you want. But you want to be able to twist these up quickly and get them done and get through your line. So I have two balloons I'm going to show you today. They're both uh, dealing with teddy bears. The first one is a hat. So I has, I'm having two balloons that I'm going to start with. Um, I have problems getting rid of white balloons. I don't have a lot of balloons that I make that use white. So this is a good balloon to get rid of your white balloons or those balloons that you just can't seem to get rid of. So I'm going to make a couple of assumptions here. I'm going to assume that you understand how to tie off a balloon. I'm going to assume that you understand how to do basic twisting. We're going to make a basic hat design. This is just the helmet. And I have to warn you, these balloons have been sitting in my basement for over a year. So I do expect a lot of breakage. I do expect a lot of problems, but I just wanted to do something today. It's a uh, New Year's Eve day and I'm sitting at home and I'm doing nothing. So I figured I would make a nice balloon video. So we're just gonna peel this off and tie it. I don't have a kid here to measure, so I'm just gonna twist this into a basic helmet design. I'm gonna leave this part undone. And, you know, you can just wear it on your arm or you can give it to the kids to hold. The second part is we're going to make our teddy bear. Now, I've heard over and over and over again how hard it is to make a teddy bear. It's such a difficult balloon. I think if you have the basic design down, um, you can easily make a teddy bear. You need to uh, have some nice pliability. We're going to tie it off. And I always say the same thing to myself. I have this little... Thing that I say so you start off with snout side of the head ear top of the head ear side of the head and then you just tie it like that and there's your teddy bear right so now we're just gonna do some easy elephant ear twists so you're basically pinching the balloon and just twisting it to nice elephant ears. And you're just going to pop the nose right there. And there's your teddy bear, right? Nice, easy teddy bear. Excuse me. Now what we're going to do, we're going to tie him off like this. We're going to give him some little hands so that he's holding. The lady looks like he's reaching out. And we're going to go ahead and finish his tail. He feels like he's going to pop, i got to tell you. We're gonna sit him right on top of this balloon, right, just like this. And we're just gonna leave him there. So we have a couple of things that we need to finish. So that's him. I'm then gonna take three random balloons. So we'll do 
orange, blue, and yellow, just because those are the ones I reached in my bag. What we're going to do is we're going to make some small flowers for him to hold on to. And this is a really cute balloon. If you don't know how to make the little tulips, you just want to blow it up a little bit. You're going to make it into like a marshmallow shape, I guess. Tie it off. And what you want to do is you want to take this tip, push it down into the balloon, and then grab it so that it like it's like stuck in there. Can you see it? And then you're just going to twist it so that it stays and push it in so that it locks. And you got it, your basic tulip. Okay? We're going to do that two more times. So I've been twisting balloons on and off for about 25 years, and unfortunately it's been more off than on lately. And I have a feeling that this is going on across the boards, although I have seen some entertainers who are able to keep their business going during this difficult time and you know hats off to them that's number two unfortunately with balloon twisting and face painting uh, it requires a lot of customer interaction and close contact you really can't face paint a kid when they're wearing a mask um, same thing with balloons you know the kids are like right here like right in your face so this is number three. So we got three. What we're gonna do, we're just gonna tie the bear on so that he's just sitting. He's sitting on the head, right? And then we're gonna take our three tulips and we're just going to put them in his hands, or whatever you call it for him to hold on to. I have a feeling he's going to pop. I got that feeling. It's the worst. You get a balloon all done and then it pops. That's just the worst. So here we have our finished bear. And he's just sitting there on his hat with his balloons. And this is a really nice balloon for a little kid. You know, you just plop it on their head. But I can tell you... Um, I've seen more kids who I put this on their head and then a second later they rip it off because they want to carry it around and look at it. And when I was a kid, I didn't like wearing hats. Like if somebody put this on my head, I wouldn't want it. So definitely that's one of the first questions I ask a kid is, do you want something you can wear or do you want something you can carry? And that will pretty much determine what I make. So if your kid doesn't want the hat, you can say, okay, well, I have another, I have another bear balloon that I can make for you. And we're gonna make a very easy flower with a teddy bear on the flower. So we're just gonna take a green stem. I just happen to grab one. Oh, look at this! Look at this balloon. This thing is so gonna pop. Look at this. It's not like I think I'm gonna want it. See, told you. I knew. Let's just, these balloons are in such bad shape, I'm telling you. This one looks a little... Nope. Once they get all squiggly like that, you could tell that they're way too dried out. But I gotta use these up. Alright, I found a nice blue one. Let's go with blue. Ah, perils. The perils of balloon making. Okay, so we're just gonna make a really quick stem. Assuming you guys want to make a quick stem. So we're just gonna make a quick flower stem. This is very, very easy. We're gonna make a quick flower. This should be fun. So this flower balloon that I do, it's a six petal flower. I've seen a lot of people do the easy four petal. Oh, this one looks like it's gonna be bad. Okay, so the trick with this flower is you need to make sure you let out enough air because it's very, it's a lot of twists and your balloon is going to get really, really tight. But then if you don't blow it up enough, which I don't think it is, it's not going to look right. So I'm going to redo this. We're going to give this one a try. 
No, I do not blow them up by mouth. I've seen way too many people have very bad accidents of balloons popping in their face and they wind up in the hospital. And the balloon companies are not responsible because it says right on there, do not blow up by mouth. But if you still want to do it, you're right ahead. So we're going to tie the two ends. I just blew this up. We're going to tie the two ends together. We're going to take it like this and we're going to twist one end of it. And then we're going to make three loops. So you want to like divide it into three, right? Just tie it once two and three right you're gonna fold it in on itself this looks like it's gonna be too tight so it's all folded in on itself right like a chain you're gonna fold it in then you're gonna squish the two long ends together and twist it together oh my gosh it works and there is your six petal flower now these have a very high popping probability these petals will just randomly start popping off because this balloon is so tight. So now here comes the really fun part. But the good part is about this sometimes is that even if one of these petals pops off, the other ones will still stay together. So now here comes the fun part. You have to get this on the flower. So what I do, I make a little ball on the top and then I'm just gonna take any of these petals and I'm just gonna try to like squeeze this between the petals. Anyone, any way it will. There we go. I won't be surprised if this thing pops. I will not be surprised. So the next thing we want to do, we want to add a bear to this. I'm going to make a white one. Just because I have problems getting rid of the white ones. And I'm like, oh, do you want a polar bear on your... Yeah, that's a great way to get rid of white balloons. So again, we're just going to make a basic bear. Just like the other one, so we have the nose, side of the head, ear, top of the head, ear, side of the head. Just remember that pattern. So here we go. I'm gonna do our elephant twist. Push it through. So now we're going to take this and we're just going to wrap it around the flower. I'm just going to take it and wrap it like that. And then we're just going to make a little tail for him. And he's done. We're just going to leave it like that. Now if you want to, you can try to smush this through the bottom and have him hanging on. But I, to me, that makes a lot more problems. Um, especially if you're working with a lot of kids and I already said this has a high popping probability you just want to hand this off as quick as possible and get that kid moving um, he probably will be back with a broken balloon but at least you can get the next kid working um, and that's all I wanted to show you today I would recommend now I know that the balloons all say the 260 cues that is two inches wide 60 inches long and the Q stands for the thickness of the rubber but I swear to you the transparent balloons like these red ones and these not really the blue ones but the yellow ones especially they pop so easy I don't know what it is about them but these are my two balloons you got two teddy bear balloons two options for you one's a hat and one is a flower that the kid can carry around and that's going to be it for today. I might do some more uh, quick and easy balloons, but uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want, and please like the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.